Welcome to GeoVision video tutorial. My name is Pearl. I'm going to cover the live demo session here for the GVI version 2.1. For the first one, we will show you how to connect the GVI 2.1 with VNS version 14.1 by manually or by scanning. And the second live demo, this one we will show you how to remove a host from GVI's camera list or remove unwanted channels in live view. In the live demo session, we will show you how to go through GVI's setting patch such as default ID and password so you can predefine your IP camps ID and password if they all use the same information so you don't have to key in every time so that this is a page that you can remember the ID and password when the GVI have to connection with the IP camera and we will also show you how to delete camera list and how to upgrade the final demo session here is the how to use the fisheye dewarp feature alignment PTZ or the IO control and and also ERM setup session. In this live demo, we will show you how to connect GVI version 2.1 with VNS 14.1 by manually or by scanning. Okay, now we will show you how to add VNS server by scanning function. First, you have to enable webcam service. Please find toolbar and network the webcam server. Make sure your mobile port is available for streaming port 56000. That will be the default port for the uh, video streaming. Okay. Okay, click OK. And now we can use a uh, GVI scanning right now for the Wi Fi connection. Let's check on GVI screen. Now this is a GVI UI. It's empty list. Click the setting icon over here. Let's check the ID and password here. This is a predefined user ID and password that will, you will make a connection for the Wi-Fi search. So you don't have to input the user ID and password again. Now you can add camera list by plus icon here. Enable Wi-Fi search function here. It will search all available camera in your LAN. Okay. Now we will add demonstration three here. This server. Let's check this icon. And we can click select all. That means we will add all of the VNS, this VNS server IP can into our list. And then we click back. And click save. Okay, you will add the camera list here. So these all channel are came from the VNS server demo station three. You can simply drag and drop your the camera into the column in the right side. You so finger click the server name right now and drag and drop to the box in your right side and we'll make the connection. See the connection is available, you will see the green spot here. You can drag multiple the camera into the list for the live view. The maximum for patch is six camera. And then you can close the camera list by this icon. And you will get big screen to display this camera. This will be scan function about the GVI connection with the GVVMS. In this live demo, we will show you how to remove a host from GVI's camera list or remove unwanted channels 
in live view. This is a live view about the GVI V2. Click this icon, you will see the camera list. Now we have some unwanted camera. You can simply use your finger, slide over the PT220 for this one, for example. So slide the camera name from right to left, you will get delete function here. You can just simply press the delete. Now the camera is delete by the camera list. If you want to delete all camera, please use this icon for setting. Now you can use this function delete all entries on camera list. So there is a pop-up window over here. It's a warning message. Because if you delete all of the camera, that means all the connection will be closed. Okay. Let's back to the live view here again. Okay, now, if you want to remove unwanted channel in live view, for example, if you don't want this channel, UBO2411, you can simply press this camera on the screen and drag and drop to the trash icon over here. Okay, now this channel was closed. So now we delete the unwanted channel in live view. In this live demo session, we will show you how to set up default ID and password in GVI setting patch. And you can also get how to delete camera list and where is the upgrade function. To set up default user ID and password for the camera connection, please find a setting here. After we click setting, now you can define the default ID and password. If you do change the default ID password, so you can use this information and fix the setting over here. So it will not require to enter the ID and password again and again. And this also support camera list delete. Okay, so if for this icon here, you can delete all entries on camera list. This also support the upgrade function here. The upgrade means you can have uh, upgrade the list from the app store. For the app store here, we will use PCs iTunes. For example, you will get price about two point ninety nine for the app to purchase for additional features like fish eye dewarp. So you will get additional feature on this upgrade button. In next session, we will show you how to get the fisheye dewarp function and the fisheye alignment function, the PTZ control, or the IO control and the ERM setup. This is a major function about the GVI, and you will see the live, live demo later. Okay, this is a fisheye demo site, and now you will get fisheye dewarp function after the app purchase. See the 360, the icon over here. You can press this icon, and now you get a fisheye dewarp feature. The first, please see this icon, the box icon. This icon will be the definition about the fisheye installation mode. You have to tell the app this is a sitting mount or the wall mount or even the ground mount. So it depends on different mount, you will see the different result. If you want the result correct, you have to use the correct debug mode. 
This is sitting mount, so we choose the top one. And now, after select the correct mount, now we will use the alignment here. This circle over here. So click the circle, use your fingers for the area, the center area here. Now you can select the circle that you want to include in this develop area. Use your two finger to maximum or minimum the area in this image. Okay. So after you release your finger, the setting will be saved. After the alignment setup, please disable the alignment mode by press this circle again. Okay, now we can use different develop mode, such as full window mode. And now you can use your finger to change the angle of the view for each so each for each window. Now we choose the second one. And same. You can also use the different angle of view here. There are also two 180 degree view here. It will also support PTZ mode. With PTZ mode, the camera can be switched by different angle of view by zooming. So use your two fingers, you will get a zooming for a better viewer. So that's all about the fish ID warp. In next session, we will show you the ERM setup. This is a major function about the GVI, and you will see the live, live demo later. For the edge recorder setting, we will use the this icon in our upper corner. Okay. For the IP can set up the storage, you can assign the NAS storage share folder recording or you can assign simply assign the SD card recording. Now we will demo how to assign NAS storage in this IP can storage setting. For the edge setting, we will use the EBL for the example here. Click this icon and you will be able to set up the recording storage. Let's check EBL for example. Okay, let me check this EBL and click the next icon here. Okay, now you will get EBL on the list. Okay. Right now, there is no valid pass, so there is means there is no storage here. So we will add a host now. We just click yes. Now you will search the network in your LAN. Any host with share folder function, it will be search and provide a list. Okay, now you will get host this here. Now we will use Geovision NAS for, for this example here. Let's provide the correct ID and password. We will use camera 08 for example here. This will be our ID and password. We will log in the NAS and we will use this folder as a recording pass. Okay, this will be our recording pass right now. Okay, let's click set.
so you will get the path laser right now and click down in the corner here now we can add it can add it okay and in the button you will see the storage path right now that's what we have defined before so you can just simply click this icon here click add okay add here and click set click set here okay now you click save okay when you click save and now you will be able to write the share folder as a recording storage for the EBO right now okay let's create a storage one more you have to create the, uh, the storage setting here so let's provide the NAS selection click the plus icon here and you will be able to search the available IPK will be assigned to storage here for UBS3301 this is a host list right now this is a share folders ID and password we will use the Geovision NAS folder for the example here. We will use cam camera 05 for the share folder ID and password. So right now you can get GV NAS. This will be our storage pass. Okay, let's click done here. Okay, right now you have camera 0A as a share folder and the second share folder name will be camera 05. This is your folder are from GeoVision NAS. Okay. So in the storage setting here, you can now have two options. It's camera 05 folder and camera 08 folder. For UBX3301, and we click next. It will check the storage folder right now. And that's provide a different option here. You have two options here. There's camera 05 and camera 08. That's we that's you define in the storage list. Let's use camera 05. Since camera 08 is for EBO right now. Okay, click save, and you will be able to save that. Okay, right now we will check the storage information here again. Check the address storage, the hard drive location here. You will get an information icon in front of the checkbox. Okay. Sim simply click the example for the EPO1100, the information icon here. Okay. It will show you the storage space available. The space available here is 0 0.26 gigabyte. So the, the almost recording for a lot of time here. If we check back, if we check the like CAW220, uh, the SD card is included and the storage also assigned. So in this condition, uh, the recording will assign to the NAS storage first. And right now, this you can see the storage SD card uh, still available for 2.4 gigabyte. Okay, this is a common question about port about GVI version 2.1. The default, the Multicam version 8.59 is not support GVI version 2.1 since GVI version 2.1 is a connection major. The application is the VNS 14.1. If, if your Multicam version 8.59 still want to use the GVI function, you can still get patch or upgrade to Multicam 8.56.
this is the end of live demo session. For latest software download and product information, you can check our website www.geovision.com.tw For any question you may have, you can email to support at geovision.com.tw Thank you.